Okay, so I know it's a pretty common scenario that people run into when they find themselves with a micro cassette player and they're like, how do I use this thing? Well, for all of those people that are in dire need of suddenly using a micro cassette player, this is a short tutorial on how you would actually do that. So the microphone is on top. There's, there's a recording button. You probably don't want to press that if you just have like a tape or something that you want to play. Um, and so you open up the, the cassette. If you have one like this, this is a, this is a Sony micro cassette player. You, uh, you press the stop pause button. Ooh, ooh, let's try that again. You press this lower button here and that'll open the case up. Okay, so the cassettes give you a little hint on how they how they work. Um, there's an arrow, and that's the direction that the tape plays in. And so if you look at the top here, there's also this same arrow. So these, uh, uh, these two arrows uh, will line up if you want it to work. Okay, so then you would slot it into this little tray, close it, and then you could press uh, press play. Happy birthday, Camille. It was great meeting you this year and becoming your friend. Okay, so let's say that you wanted to, um, you know, go back. Well, most people have working micro cassette players, but this one isn't that. So normally you would go review and you would slide this backwards um, and it would rewind the tape. But on this particular one, and the reason I'm making this video is that the rewind function doesn't work. So you have to do this very old school. If you want to hear what's on your tape again, you're going to have to open it up, take the tape out and flip it to the B side. Notice that the, we're on the B side here. You put that in, close it, and then you go Q, which would normally make it go forward. Oh, and it's, it's done. That part goes pretty quick. Okay, you can open it back up again. Take it out. And then if you need to rehear something for some reason, I mean, maybe you just want to listen to the same song again, uh, close it. And then I would recommend not um, overwriting your tapes, especially uh, if you only have if you only have one of them. There's also a little battery compartment on the back that takes uh, AAA batteries if for some reason it were to it were to break. Yeah, so hopefully for for anyone concerned, this has been a nice tutorial on how to use a micro cassette player.